hey Rodri, I'm gonna send you this new housing. Uh, the other housing you're gonna completely take off. Um, you're gonna detach the top uh, push fitting, the, the tube going to the top, and deta detach both the bottom fittings, okay? And this will fit right in those black uh, brackets. You'll have to uh, unscrew them. I think that you've done that before. Um, but the bottom bracket will be too low to fit around this, but that's okay. Uh, the top bracket will just clamp onto this and hold it, and that's going to be fine. Okay, now this is, I put on here, top, HF1, that's for us. That's just what kind of membrane's in there, and bottom, so you know which side is up. Uh, this is what you'll uh, hook the top tube into, half-inch push fitting, okay? And the bottom, uh, your blue tube's going to go into the white uh, fitting here, and you can see that this hole is open. I'm sending this separate. You're going to want to put this on. You're just going to screw it in. It's already taped up, but I'll send you some extra tape just in case. You're just going to screw that in tight, okay, until it's going to fit and it's going to show like this, okay? That's what it's going to look like uh, at the bottom. So you'll be able to see the pressure gauge and that's your needle valve. And then your, your orange tube your orange tube, let me sit this down. Your orange tube is gonna go into here, okay? So this will be in the bottom of that uh, RO housing. Your orange tube's gonna go into here. That's the wastewater that should go to the drain, okay? Your blue tube, like I said, is gonna go in here. That's the good water, and make sure that water is what's going into the tank, okay? That's where, and we'll test that TDS after you mount it, all right? Um, I'm gonna send you uh, all of this and uh, it's going to be separate. You just screw that in. That's all it should be. Uh, just give me a call if you have any questions.